Hello out there and thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm basically going to cover a good topic I like is about gold. How to invest in it and get a good return. But before I go, please let me ask you, will you please take a moment to like and subscribe? Investing in gold can be a lucrative option for diversifying your investment portfolio and potentially achieving good returns. There are several ways to invest in gold, each with its own advantage and consideration. Here are some strategies for investing in gold to potentially achieve good returns. And why should we at this time, why gold, why now? Well, there's a good reason for it. Think about gold as insurance, insurance for your money. When the dollar goes down in value, the fiat money, gold goes up. So in a sense, it's a storehouse of value. So why invest is to save your purchasing power of your money. Not that you gotta put all your money into it, but just as a hedge, like you would insurance for your car. You have insurance praying that you never get into an accident, but if you do get into one, you're prepared for it. And with the money supply, here's the greatest reason to invest in gold now. Everything has gone up since COVID. Every, many things have doubled. Rent has doubled, food has doubled, a lot of food has doubled, beer has doubled. I mean, almost everything out there. Services have doubled, wages have doubled at fast food restaurants from $7 in Virginia to $15 now. And still, it's hard and difficult to get employees. So why invest in gold now? It's basically gold has been suppressed, okay? Gold has not moved yet. But when gold move, the possibility is, I'm not going to say it's going to go to the moon. That's possible. But I am going to say that it's going to double. And I'm not going to say it's going to happen this year. But I'm saying it's close to happening. The writing is on the wall in a sense. There's, here's other ways, six ways you can buy gold. A good ways, okay? You can buy the physical gold, holding it, but you have to think about secure, securing it. You have to think about storage. You have to think about possibly insurance against theft, or you have to find a good place to keep it so that nobody steals it. And when you got it, you got to keep your mouth shut, shut, folks, because people, when they hear that, you become a target. And in a sense, sometimes the best policy is not to tell everything you know about your wealth. And a lot of rich people I know, I'm, I'm a landscaper, and I've been investing in gold, silver since 1964, since I was a child. My mother said, you see that? Now, in 1964, they're no longer using silver coins. They're going to just have one with metals. And my mother said, you need to start saving these. And I started saving them and started saving them and started saving them. And unfortunately, my sister brought one of her girlfriends to my house, my mother's house. And basically, she was a crackhead and she stole my savings. So you got to keep it safe out of harm's way. You can also go with a gold exchange traded fund, an ETF. And a good one for that is GLD, gold. That, that is a very reputable one to buy. And also you want to find one that has volatility in it. So you can find prices, buy it low, watch it go up, possibly swing trade it. You can go long on it, whatever you want to do. Another way which I really enjoyed doing for the leverage of it, before there was Bitcoin, there was gold mining stocks. And people would bet on, well, when you invest, it's a bet. 
you know, you're praying and hope and believing and doing your calculations and learning all that you can about it, the fundamentals, and then you find one that you invest, like and invest in. But if you do it, always seek people, people, people. Have the people who run the operation done it before and have they been successful and really i'm not promoting anything i am invested in these companies i like gold mining corp incorporated they are very good you can google it admir nani and also you can go with uh gold royalty and david is like he's the king of kings in the gold mining industry he knows his business and now he's running a gold royalty for gold mining you can also go with gold futures and options but i tell you one thing if you do it that way you better be careful because there's a lot of sharks out there and unless you know what you're doing you're gonna lose big time you may lose your home you may lose your wife because you lost your home and you may lose everything because basically Woo, when it hits you, I've done it before. When it hits you, you can go down fast. And also the best one I like is the gold accumulation plan. You can also do that with uh, silver too. You can buy in tranches and buy at different levels. So make it like a weekly buying program. I did that for a while. Every week when I had the money, I would go in and buy a coin of silver and you know, that's the way I did it. And also you can buy gold certificates, which is, you know, consider purchasing allocated, unallocated gold certificates from reputable financial institution or bullion banks. These certificates represent ownership of a certain quantity of gold held by the issuer. If you invest in gold, folks, my suggestion is hold it. There's been too many deceitful companies out there who have gone bust. And if they go bust, that means that you lose everything. So if you want it, you better get it while you can because, you know, there's no guarantees out there. There's no guarantees. So, but if you have it in your hand and, and you know, put in a safe place, at least you know where it's at. And also when in considering investing in gold for good return, it is crucial, very crucial to conduct research and understand the risk involved. I'm not a stockbroker. I'm not promoting anything. I have no agenda here. I'm just telling you what I'm learning as I'm doing research, as I'm investing more in gold, and as I look at the long-term picture. I'm not doing this for quick gains overnight. I'm looking for it as insurance. Insurance against what could go wrong. You gotta understand the risk involved, folks, and consider consulting possibly with a financial advisor or investor professional. If you really want the best of the best, go with Sprott, okay? They know their business, they've been at it forever. They're reputable, they're honest, and they will not cheat you. And this fund, I, rec I mean, this gold GLD, I recommended it, is, is a ETF with Sprott. And Sprott is mm, the Cadillac of them all. Well, Cadillac's no longer the best car. The Lamborghini of them all, okay? The price of gold can be influenced by various factor such as geopolitical events. Look at the war that's happening now in Israel and the Gaza Strip. And also look at Russia and Ukraine and all these other places talking about China with Taiwan is putting fear and uncertainty in the market. And when there's fear and uncertainty, people go to gold. Can you trust a bank? If the bank's gonna get blown up, but the gold, if you have it in your hand, at least you know what you got. And also is a hedge against inflation, currency fluctuation, and market sentiments. 
So staying informed about these factors is essential for making a farm investment decision. Folks, there's a lot of people out there on the internet preaching a lot about gold, about silver. Be careful because a lot of them are talk and a lot of people are just trying to bring people into these channels. As I said, said you got to go to investment uh, conferences. You know, there's resource and conferences out there. Rick Rule is a great man to listen to. He knows his stuff. And, you know, you can even Google gold royalty and watch David Garofolo uh, do presentations, talk about gold royalty. And I'm investing in that. And it's affordable now. And you want to buy when everybody's selling and sell when everybody's buying. And right now, the market is flat, flat, flat. And you want to buy when the commodities are the most hated because that's when you have the most leverage. You're looking for an asymmetrical trade, a trade that will be able to make you gains and multiple gains. And if I'm going to invest in a company, I just don't want a double. I don't want a triple. I don't want a half. I want an X. X is at least 10 times, okay? So shoot for the moon, but if you hit the stars, you're doing well. So I wish you luck in your investments. I'm going to be doing more videos about investing in gold and silver and other commodities. And... You know, I wish you well. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.